Porter. We're at Porter Contemporary and it's the opening of Drink to Me, 22 contemporary artist views of Picasso. Picasso died on my birthday and so I've felt this connection, not to Picasso, but it's always been in the back of my mind for my connection to art and art history. So I have, since I've opened the gallery, which was seven years ago, I have wanted to do a show about how artists today view Picasso. So we took submissions, so there were 13 artists from Porter Contemporary that I'd already worked with or currently represent, and then there are nine additional artists that I'm working with for the first time. I had no idea what I would do. I did this piece based on a Picasso, an iconic Picasso, where he took handles of a bicycle and a bicycle seat and put them together to make a bull's head. At first I was like, well, I don't really go into the area of abstraction or cubism, and I kind of created a fun image of Picasso merging an iconic figure with an iconic skateboard graphic, presenting an abstract icon in a hyper-realistic manner. With this, we went pretty literal, and, and it's, I mean, it's the cubist thing, and basically we started because we found this frame, and it had dust all over it, and we were like, let's start with this, and then make something inside of it that, <laughs> that'll work good. And we decided to do a portrait of Picasso when he was a child, and it was like, well, why don't we make the cubist thing happened with the panel and cut it into pieces first, you know, to just add a little more dimension to it. It seemed to fit perfectly in my mind because Picasso had a whole phase of his life, the cubist and collage phase, where he used a non-objective objects in his work that to him were complete abstract elements and it seemed perfect for me because a lot of the magazine clippings I use um, have its own content and imagery so I like the idea of bouncing back and forth between my overall composition and all the little images inserted within that. He was very much a womanizer. Um, he had all of these personal flaws. Uh, which was also very important for me to invite some feminist artists to the show that I wanted to get their perspective. I've heard that he was a real son of a bitch, so I don't really have any love lost for him. But I also think that he, he had balls, and, and you got to admire that. I think the thing I appreciated most about it was he was just, it seemed like he was flipping the bird to everybody. <laughs> Somebody once said, about one of his uh, more abstract pieces that, you know, I think it was an art collector, and he said, well, I, I don't understand this piece. And Picasso said, do you like shrimp? And the guy said, why, I love shrimp. And Picasso said, do you understand shrimp? And he said, no. When I was growing up, my mom always said, make the brush stroke smoother, make it cleaner, it doesn't like, you know. So it made me understand it doesn't always have to, uh, be that way, sometimes it can just come from the gut, like one's taste for shrimp. Mm -hmm.